CITES is the Convention on International Trade of Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, and it emerged as a response to the threat of exploitation posed by international commerce in wildlife. It is one of the oldest and most important multinational agreements regarding the protection of wild flora and fauna. It is important to note that entire economic sectors depend on the trade of wild flora and fauna, which is why not all trade is prohibited. Examples include the timber, fishing, and plant trades. This is why it is important for CITES to differentiate between the different species and to protect those that are most threatened or at risk. Despite the efforts of governments and the support from non-governmental organizations, the trafficking of flora and fauna persists globally. This is putting the survival of some species at great risk. Each year, wildlife trafficking reports up to $23 billion in sales. Fueled by an insatiable demand for consumption, status, medicinals, and fashion, wildlife crime is one of the world's most lucrative illegal businesses. Often run by sophisticated, transnational, organized criminal networks seeking to exploit the high rewards and low risks of the trade. The illegal wildlife trade undermines national security and good governance, destroys the environment, brings species to extinction, and undermines efforts to develop sustainable economic opportunities. Unregulated wildlife trade also compromises human health, as it can lead to the spread of zoonoses, which are diseases transmitted from animals to humans, such as SARS-CoV-2, the cause of the COVID-19 pandemic. Increased wildlife trafficking leads to a rise in human-animal interaction, increasing the chance for diseases to spread. The men and women serving as frontline detection and enforcement authorities, such as police officers, custom officials, and other enforcement officers, are key in regulating the legal trade and detecting and dismantling the illegal trade in wild flora and fauna. They have the faculty and power to inspect and verify CITES permits and certificates, and to check all of the requirements to prevent illegal flora and fauna trafficking. CITES Import and Export Permits, or Certificates, are required to authorize the commerce of animal and plant species and products protected by the Convention. These frontline officials must ensure that the CITES permit and other documents include the official seals and signatures of the import or export country. They should also use their training to detect any false or suspicious information, such as markings or omissions on CITES permits. If they suspect possible trafficking, they are required to notify the CITES and other relevant authorities. Where permitted, the first action to take is to detain the suspect plant or animal specimen. Finally, they should constantly become informed and collaborate with international authorities and organizations to implement and enforce CITES, reviewing reports and intelligence when possible. Regulating the legal trade of wildlife species and preventing illegal trafficking is a challenging task. The inspection and enforcement authorities on the ground should be proud of their work, as they are the key to stop trafficking at a global level. For more information, 
visit CITES.org.